So you, you mentioned earlier this product called Workbench and this is what Workbench looks like. And so, like, like you said, it's this graphic uh, tool for translating data. So what I'm going to do is create a data transformation. Again, all I need to do is specify the format of data and where that data is. So it was in the water folder, M25. And I'm going to translate it to, uh, I'm going to do a file geodatabase. And we have quite a few, in fact, if I just type geodatabase, you'll find that we've got quite a few geodatabase writers. I could do ArcSDE or personal, but in this case I'm going to go just with a file geodatabase, the Arc Objects version. Right, uh, right. And the other version is the um, based on the open source or, or other libraries from Esri. That's Esri. right, oh. yes. So I'm going to put it in my output folder and I'm going to just call it parks. No, not parks, with water, water.gdb. And so there we go. I'm just going to flip that parameter again. Okay, so that's my translation set up, and it's very simple to do that. And all I need to do is click OK, and what happens is FME scans the data. It asks me which ones I want to translate. I click OK, and we get this graphic representation that I hope you're seeing on screen now. We are. Good. And so um, the brown objects on the left are all the different layers within the AutoCAD, and the ones on the right are the different tables we're going to create in GeoDatabase. After we've thrown this um, blue object in there, we call that a transformer. Um, and the reason it's doing that is because uh, a GeoDatabase table can't have more than one type of geometry uh, in it, and one of those layers in AutoCAD has both lines and points in it, so we're splitting the data up into separate tables. Um, I don't really want the lines in my output, so I'm just going to right click on that and choose the option to disable. And I can do that, I can disable things that are coming in and out of that translation very easily. So all I do to run that translation is hit that green play button. And anyone who's used FME will probably notice I'm using FME 2013 here. Um, we've got the, the updated icons, uh, which is the most obvious difference. So that translation ran, and I can look in this log window, and we translated three and a half thousand features in uh, in a. And I've got an arc map, so what I can do is I can browse to my output folder. I should be able to find the water, and now I can start using that data within my ArcGIS. Um, and it's actually got the uh, correct attributes as well. If I query on one of these pipelines, it should show the attributes that came out of the um, the AutoCAD data. So we've got um, that. And we should also see that the water meter information is in there as well, and we've got the same text. Uh, if I can find a zoom in, there we go. <coughs> so the text has come in. Uh, in the same location that it was within the AutoCAD. Okay, so that's um, a, a very basic and very quick um, translation from uh, AutoCAD to uh, to GeoDatabase.